Hey guys, so this is our last lecture. All right. In this lecture, we are going to create a very simple project. After we have learned uh, Spark AI, all right, with the basic skills, we learned about Spark AI. All right. See, I I'm going to admit that uh, I haven't taught uh, Spark AI in much depth. All right, because I'm going to bring out another series. All right. Totally on Spark AI, all right, which will be covering Spark AI in depth. The main idea, all right, the main motivation behind uh, putting Spark AI, the basics of Spark AI in the syllabus. The reason behind it was that I wanted I wanted you guys to get excited about augmented reality, all right. Uh, and uh, I know many of you uh, are active active on Instagram, all right. I know many of you and uh, you guys uh, enjoy Instagram. So why not make uh, one filter for Instagram, right? So I, 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 I was thinking that uh, it's going to excite you and uh, I guess it did. So let's jump into the video and develop our last project, right? And uh, I promise you, all right, one thing I'm going to promise you that more series like this, all right, more better than this are going to come in near future all right i'm improving myself every day all right i'm going to bring out videos on virtual reality i'm going to bring videos on augmented and mixed reality all right so make sure to subscribe this channel all right so make sure to subscribe this channel so you don't miss any videos all right and uh, very soon i'm going to launch all right uh, most probably in the month of april i'm going to launch a course called XR001 all right it would be a paid course all right so th the course would be very affordable all right for so that everyone can learn from that course and uh, uh, the course would be launching at my startup that is Antern all right so if you want you can and you, you guys can enroll in that course and uh, I'm going to announce that I have announced that uh, course in this video so make sure all right if you want to learn more in depth all right i have covered very very in depth concepts of augmented virtual and mixed reality in that course all right there are concepts that no one going to teach you in any of the course around all right no one is going to teach you those concepts i have included those concepts because they are very important all right i have included maths required for uh, AR and VR all right that is 3d maths so make sure all right to uh, visit that course at least once all right and if you feel like joining the course if you want to pursue uh, augmented reality virtual reality and mixed reality as a career then you can surely join that course we are going to develop multiple projects we are going to get in depth of the SDKs all right we are going to get in depth knowledge of those SDKs like Vuforias or AR code that is AR foundation then of course Spark AR we are going to going to go into the depth of Spark AR we'll be exploring how to code in Spark and all those very important things all right so if you want you can enroll in that course so also one more thing all right join our discord server or right? join Anton's discord server there are many experts in there all right who can help you i am in there all right so if you have any doubt in near future you can ask me in there all right and also you can uh, connect with me on linkedin all right you can follow me on instagram so here all the links will be down below in the description and all the materials all right that i have used during the course all the project assets uh, all those things will be available uh, on the website all right that is arcourse.netify.app uh, all right it would be available in the website so you can get all the assets from there all right and uh, the spark air assets you can get from the air library only all right so yeah without any further ado let's get going right so the very first thing is uh, click on this project properties click on change project properties all right make sure you do that and in that click on add experience all right and uh, insert the sharing experience all right that would actually help us share uh, the assets on our mobile and all those like on our instagram uh, and all those portions right so now the very first thing is i want you to add a head tracker 
or sorry face tracker all right so click on this plus icon all right and click on this face tracker and click on insert all right so here you can see our anchor has appeared and that anchor is moving with the face now i want you to add some assets all right i want you to add some assets the very first asset is uh, go to the blocks all right i guess it was in the blocks only right i don't exactly remember actually let's let's search for it head occluder all right oh uh, okay yeah here we got it all right so make sure to get the head occluder that is provided by the spark air assets only all right and uh, click on import it will down it will start downloading it all right and after it's downloaded click on done and uh, you know what to do you just place this head occluder inside of the face tracker all right so here we got our head occluder now we have to add some more asset that is plus uh, click on this plus icon then click on search ar library all right and here uh, we would be adding our glasses that is uh, search for steampunk uh, glasses all right so here you will be getting this uh, particular glass so i'm just going to import it all right so it's going to take some amount of time to download and import the module uh, model till then all right make sure uh, you subscribe the channel all right make sure you subscribe the channel for more up, uh, videos all right on augmented virtual and mixed reality if you want to make a career in in this uh, domain and i'm going to, i'm sure you're going to like how this domain is like i love this domain for truly like this is one of my favorite domain in computer science so just wait for a few seconds and it would be downloaded so now our asset is loaded right now the very first thing i want you to do is because this thing will make our you know spark air slow all right so what i want you to do is go in there all right select all the assets right in here and uh, make sure that the compression is set to none as of now all right why see here you can see the size is really big all right and of course uh, spark uh, when you will be launching this filter spark ar won't be accepting it so that's why you have to compress uh, this filter after you are done with all the you know uh, done with all the spark means development of your filter all right uh, i always do this so it it it, ha it like uh, i compress these all the materials after the development is done because that saves a lot of time for me uh, like it doesn't interrupts my development all right the development of the filters right now what you have to do is fairly simple drag and drop this object all right make it a child of the face tracker so here you can see it's you know really big right so it's time for us to make it small okay first of all you know he's moving really fast so i of course don't want that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to you know oh, all right okay big mistake now all right okay cool very cool now uh, you have to adjust this you know adjust uh, this to his face right now let's see uh huh yeah this this looks pretty good yeah this this definitely looks uh, good let's uh, all right okay see we can see his eyes also so now this uh, glasses are looking very good and we actually have you know set up uh, means perfectly set up written there now what i want you to do is add another uh, asset that is going to be you know uh, a hat right or a cap maybe so add any asset you want all right so let's go for this one this seems a nice fit for this head right means uh, for this uh, what can i say this particular glass 
not head so just wait for it to download all right and cool we got it now simply drag and drop it in here all right make it a child of our favorite face tracker and and now you know what to do scale it down all right scale it down cool now move it a bit so that you know it gets adjusted on uh... okay let's see now yeah this looks good doesn't it yeah it definitely looks good now um just give me a few seconds i guess all right so i need to make it a bit more bigger so that you know it this cap fits this particular occluder face all right so um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see now okay this looks this looks very good right doesn't it all right now let's see all right let's see if uh, everything is working fine or not all right just okay it's compressing so i'm just going to you know as of now remove the whole compression thingy of course it's this thing is of 6 mb and uh, that is of you know 4 or four, i guess it was a 4 mb right so okay it's of 7 mb guaranteed so means this one is of 7 mb so it's around uh, 10 to 12 mb right so of course parker isn't going to accept this particular you know this uh, particular model so the to fix that problem is to compress all right to let spark air compress these particular you know textures and models and after that you can simply publish it right and let's try this out on uh, on myself all right let's see if it's if it's working or not all right just let me you know all right all right all right it's i guess because of the background light it's not able to track my head perfectly but that's okay it's uh it's working all right okay cool 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 all right cool so now uh, if you want to publish it what you have to do is you have to click on this publish button all right then you know click on this publish new effect all right and currently the uh, text you can see the textures are being compressed and uh, after the compression completes all right here an option you are finding that is called export all right you have to export this particular file into one file the, the extension will be dot ar export after it is exported all right you have to go to a dashboard all right let me show you the dashboard just give me a few seconds let me pause this simulation so this is the dashboard you can simply go in there facebook.com slash park air hub slash dashboard so these are the two filters i made all right uh, this one was like a long time ago all right i had some other filters also but i deleted them uh, so they are not here as of now so these two are there but uh, this javascript for dev doesn't really work because i haven't uh, updated as of now because I, I guess it's been almost one year this was my very first filter all right and this and this was this was the one i recently made this was a very old one like i haven't updated since i guess it's been more than one year yeah so I had other filters too, so I removed them. So I'm going to like I'm currently working on creating a whole new set of portfolio <laughs> of uh, Spark and an AR, AR application. So yeah, that's why I removed the previous ones, right? So now what you have to do is click on uh, you know after you are uh, on the hub, you have to click on publish effect, all right, and uh, a new window will appear, all right. So just give it a few moments. All right, just give it a few seconds and it will open the window for you. All right, see, uh, make sure you export uh, the 
you know the filter asset all right because without that you won't be able to publish your filter all right okay cool see first of all uh, you have to give a name to your filter all right so you can give any name to a filter if you are uh, going to upload the filter that i showed you in the pr uh, project what you can do is you can i would like to name it weird uh, uncle maybe i'm not sure i'm not really good at naming all right i'm i might name it uh, weird uncle all right i might name it weird uncle you can you can name it anything you want right after that when you uh, after exporting all right you will be getting a file.ar export file all right simply drag and drop that file in here and make sure the file is less than 40 mb all right the size of the file is less than 40 mb and uh, i would suggest you to choose all platforms or if you just want to like you know upload uh, the filter only on uh, instagram you can uh, disable the facebook uh, messenger and all the things from here all right but currently i wanted to publish it on all platforms the owner is Priyanshu Bhattacharji, right? Uh, this is the publisher that is the publisher is on my Instagram account. Here are the categories. You can uh, select the categories, all right? Like it, what kind of uh, is it? It can, uh, it is of sci fi and fantasy. Of course, it looks like something from fantasy, right? It can be of selfies, all right? So, and also you can like select the weird and scary because weird is in its name only, right? And after that, you uh, for you know for enhancing the search, you you have to add some. You should actually add some uh, keywords in there. All right, and uh, also one thing, what you have to do is you have to record. All right, you have to record the filter. All right, you have to record the filter on your phone, uh, and upload the uh, means the video in here. All right and up after that you can use the video thumbnail all right and uh, if you if if you have collaborated with uh, some other people also during the development of the filter you can add them as a collaborator in here and there are two options that is uh, as soon as possible and as uh, as set time and date so you can do any of this all right as soon as possible means uh, i generally do as soon as possible the reason behind it is it gets uh, like it takes around three to four hours or I think maybe even less than that. They publish that filter instantly. So that is one way. And other is you can simply set a particular date and time when you want your filter to be published. All right. And they don't take a lot of time to verify the filter. All right. And then click on submit and uh, your filter will be out for review. And after it is reviewed, if, uh, if, everything, success, if everything is successful, you will be able to, you know, user uh, means distributor filters on all the platforms right and one more thing while recording the video make sure the video of uh, you are recording the video of yourself only because uh, spark uh, spark air has a policy of not using their you know their presets means you can't use these presets all right the presets like this uncle uh, is you uh, like you, you can't record this uncle using your filter right you can you can't record any of them any of the filters in here to record it right so you have to record all the assets by yourself right so you have to record the video by yourself all right so make sure you do that and great and also one more thing don't use face all right your face as uh, you know as the icon of uh, or logo of this particular filter all right uh, make sure to create a logo uh, specific for this filter uh, in you know in your in your photoshop in canva or any platform you prefer all right so yeah that's it for this video and also make sure all right you subscribe this channel all right join our discord server that is our anton community all right and yeah thank you see you in the next videos